Well, I've been doing a little bit more work in my boat today. This is the uh, the cabin, uh, the navigation table, which can also be used as a as an office. Uh, this thing here is a battery which uh, gives a 12 volt output, uh, a 220 AC output, and uh, three USB outputs. So it's a very versatile machine, and I can run a computer on it for about five hours. It's uh, quite amazing. Uh, just behind it is a little loudspeaker, so that I can play music. And uh, below it, there are various compartments. Um, this is a compartment uh, containing uh, equipment for my camera, various electrical things, a couple of boxes. I haven't yet determined what I'm going to use them for. Uh, some electric cable for uh, for connecting the boat to an outlet um, on the dock at the port. I'll probably put my clothes in there, whatever. I haven't decided yet. We now come, uh, oh, just put through a couple of uh, compartments. This is the galley. Um, so I'd have to take everything out, all the pans and pots and all the, uh, the utensils are behind the cooker. And once the cooker is clear, I can use it to uh, heat water or um, heat uh, food from tins or do something simple. And I'm confident that if there's a pan over the gas, um, I won't uh, burn the underside of the uh, office uh, uh, desktop. Uh, this is the what uh, so-called ship's workshop, or in plain language, the a toolbox. And behind it, uh, I have various spare parts. Um, there we are. Uh, a few spare parts. And I put the toolbox back. <clears throat> And behind it, there are two plastic boxes which I can use for food. <clears throat> and if I need to get to get the mat right out, I have to take the toolbox out, and then I can take the um, the plastic boxes out. Uh, we're now going to look at where the uh, my safety equipment is kept. Uh, some gas canisters. Uh, I might decide to put them in the um, in the uh, in the in the stern locker, um, which perhaps would be safer for storing gas. I'm very uh, very concerned about safety. It's uh, it's no cowardly thing. It's uh, the safety is uh, is uh, a good reflex in every situation in life. My old flares, the bottom, they're probably out of date. They need, they certainly need renewing. Uh, because it'd be a pity to be in a, in a situation of danger and there for them not to be working. And this, that's the, uh, that's the step from the cockpit down into the cabin. And the camera will pan over to where the my fire extinguisher is. I've just made the stand for it this afternoon. There's an elastic holder and it can be easily released if I need it. I hope that I will never need it. Um, another look at the, uh, the navigation room. Come office, come whatever I need. And here, this is uh, the bilge pump that I've just installed. And uh, the output pipe goes uh, 
up and over the side there. I didn't feel like drilling a hole through the apron, so I thought I would do it like this. I'll have to see how it works when, uh, with the with real water. Um, and then I'm going to. Uh, that's the that's the pump. Of uh, course, there's nothing to pump with it except air. Uh, the boat's on the trailer, not on the water. I'm lifting away uh, various tools and materials from the locker, which is just here. Um, and then open the locker. In that blue bag is my rubber dinghy. I'll take it out. And then in that box, uh, there's a ladder uh, to uh, put over the stern to be able to get back in, in the boat from the rubber dinghy um, or from wading in the water, whatever, uh, paddle, paddles for the, uh, for the rubber dinghy. And I'll also uh, put my tent in there, my folded tent. You'll see more of my tent in a moment. And uh, so I will close the, the locker again. I will put the rubber dinghy back in. Close the locker. Uh, all these tools and things are because I'm working on the boat, obviously. And we're on dry land at, at home, on the trailer. Uh, there's my, uh, my berth. Uh, presently, with the uh, my, with my oilies um, there, I'll have to find a place to put them. Uh, one place when they're where they're wet, and uh, and uh, another place when they're dry. And here's the uh, the tent, nice uh, nice and roomy. You see the raindrops because I was working and it's uh, raining today, so the tent kept me dry whilst I and my tools and materials and I was able to uh, um, work without any any problems uh, so there it is <laughs>